this stove doing some um oh sorry y'all doing some fried um cookies and the stove wasn't even going this hard for my for my cookies and now look at the uproar with the water so we finna get right into it guys we've already salted our water we're getting our bell peppers kind of soft so they'll be already ready to get stuffed and put in the oven to melt with our cheese. I'm going to go ahead and turn this pasta down on low so we can start our um, hamburger helper filling. Here, go ahead and hold it. I'm going to walk everybody through it. The remix that we're doing to our hamburger helper is... What's that? Ice. Mm. The remix that we're doing to our hamburger helper is... Um, shrimp instead of beef. We don't. Do, we don't do. We don't do. Um, Romeo. Um, come on now, Romeo. We don't do too much uh, beef and pork. So we try to convert and remix everything we eat to a seafood or um, vegetarian. We do eat a lot of seafood. We do eat bacon from occasion. Um, the beef that we eat, we don't buy it, but we'll eat a hamburger or we'll eat beef maybe when we eat out, like uh, steak fajita tacos every now and then. But I do not buy beef and pork for the house. So we're going to go ahead and start our mixture for the um, bell peppers while they're getting soft. Go ahead and put the powdered cheese in for our hamburger helper. <laughs> he be hearing them other dogs outside. Uh oh. Tonight is just me and my daughter remixing night. We done remixed the chips the fried cookie challenge. And now we remixing our stuffed peppers with hamburger helper. We, we normally uh, stuff them with rice. But tonight, it's a remix with hamburger helper. After this, I'm going lay down, y'all. Cause I'm tired. Since it's a filling. And then I'm gonna add my extra cheeses too. And my seasoning. Naja, close the door. Uh-uh. Naja! Come on, man. Yes. Turn that down, please, until we get done. Breaking up my spinach in the hamburger and helper shrimp mixture. Checking on my peppers, cause I got those on high. I'm not playing when it come down to, I told you, take all them off. When it come down to cooking, for my family and cooking, period. I cook in a quick way. I don't burn my food. Okay, they just about tender enough because they still gonna go in the oven too. So I'm gonna get the, get that Right, I'm about to go in with all kinds of stuff, y'all. So get ready. We throwing some of everything. We throwing some Mexican cheese in. Just that Mexican cheese they be putting on the uh, street corn.
This is the filling for our peppers. I'm throwing some minced garlic in. I'm throwing some of my Cajun butter dollops in that I got from my favorite grocery store, H-E-B. I'm put a little butter in there with some Cajun on it. What else we got in here? Cause I'm throwing some of everything. Anything I can find in here. Want some ragu? Mm -mm. <laughs> we are gonna see how it turned out. I'm throwing some of everything. Get my other cheeses. And still got a season it. Get that butter to melt. It'll be doing good. I'm finna get over there and take my peppers out the water. And they'll finish tendering up in the oven for a couple of minutes. Because I got the oven on 400. Is it still on? Never preheated. Yes, I did. I preheated it when uh, when we was doing the cookie challenge. So it'll just be on. Must have shut itself off. Look at that. I already getting a good color from that Cajun butter. Put that down on low. All right, now I'm gonna go in and with my seasonings. We like lemon pepper on pretty much a lot of stuff. That lemon pepper give it a nice lemony taste. with some all Greek purpose. We're going to turn this out. Yeah, they tender. Get that little sitting there. I'm going with some all purpose Greek seasoning. Remember, I'm just throwing anything in here, what we got in here, and you can stuff your bell peppers with what you got in your kitchen. It don't even matter. It don't even matter, y'all. I'm going to taste the noodle and make sure we not over season just yet before I add my Louise's Country Kitchen seasoning. Let me get a noodle. Ooh. Ooh, y'all. I don't need nothing but some sprinkles. Of my Louise's Country Kitchen, right there. Oh, sorry. That's it right there on the seasoning because that Cajun butter was good. I added a that little bit of Louise's Country Kitchen is my homemade, uh, my homemade um, Cajun seasoning, spicy Cajun spicy. I keep some of that where I just drop a dollop. Keep it in a bowl. Do one more taste. The shrimp done. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's all we need right there. This meal finna be so quick. Turn that off. Hold on, y'all. Let me get a pan. Hey,
Had to do a little pivot. Ooh, that's hot. Woo. They soft. That's for sure. We doing a remix to the hamburger helper. I like to put a little seasoning uh -oh, inside my pepper. So for whoever wants to eat the whole pepper, they get a little flavor on the pepper too. So I went in with some garlic salt, garlic powder, Then we're gonna go in with a little bit of rosemary. Roll a little rosemary go a long way. And some basil. Real quick and easy meal. Then all we gotta do. Come over this way. Take our mixture that is so colorful and flavorful. Look at that. You can see the minced garlic in there. Get up close. Minced garlic, spinach, seasonings. Got some of that Louise's Country Kitchen Cajun spicy in it. These hot, so I don't even know why I just picked that up. Get this close because I'm clumsy and I will make a mess like I just did. I got my oven preheated to 400. Well, it's preheating to 400 because I'm gonna top this with some more cheese. And we just gonna, everything is already done in here. So all we gotta do is let the cheese brown up. This was quick. That's why I be hitting y'all with the 20, 30 minute meals like that. So this was really quick. I know growing up, my mom used to, she used to get upset because she felt like it would take an all-day process to thaw out the frozen chicken. Then you have to spend hours in there cooking it. When I became an adult, I had a passion for cooking as a, as a child, first of all, with my granny. But when I became an, a parent, basically, I started realizing that it's so many ways to cook a quick meal, a good clean, hearty, uh, flavorful meal in 30 minutes, 45 minutes, depending on what kind of meat you cooking in maybe an hour. The longest meal you gonna ever get is an oxtail meal, cause you know that's gonna take four to six hours, depending on how tender you want them. I like mine super tender, so I do about five, six. But other than that, a weekday, mm. y'all, I'm telling you, this filling with what I just used, that uh, Cajun butter and that Louise's Country Kitchen, my homemade Cajun spicy seasoning. Girl. Looking for my cheese. Okay. We're going to go on top with some Gouda. As a matter of fact, I meant to mix me some Gouda on the inside. So what I'm going to do is push my shredded Gouda on the inside. Because this meal done, y'all. We ain't having no side. We ain't having no bread. We got pasta in there. That's a wrap. Once this go in the oven and brown up with the cheese I'm going to put on top. Turn the flashback on. Why you turn it on? They gotta be able to see the goodness. Better with the flash on, make it more crispier and bright. I'm mixing that Gouda right on in for an extra gooey, cheesy. When it come out the oven, my daughter's uh, homeboy is over for dinner tonight. 
as well. He tried our um, Oreo and Chips Ahoy. And his favor was the Oreo. He said it made him think it was a s'more. I'm just pushing that Gouda in before I put some more on top. Make it extra cheesy. We got Hamburger Helper, y'all. We remix these peppers. Normally, we do uh, rice with shrimp and um, cheese and stuff. Or you can do stuffing. I know a lot of Louisiana people put like a stuffing mixture that's not even rice um, in there. I stuff mine all kind of ways. Quick wash of my hands. And dry my hands real quick because that um, cheese going to get stuck to them. Now I'm going to go on top with some Sharp. This was the Gouda I used from my favorite grocery store, H-E-B. I think they're only in Texas. I'm just going to go on top with some shredded Sharp cheddar. That sharp cheddar makes a very good sharp flavorful taste on stuff. I love it on my salads. And that's a wrap. Throw that cheese on there any way you want. It don't even matter because when all this melt on top, baby, they ain't gonna be worried about all that. I'm gonna go in with me some. Did I open it? Mm, got a brand new parsley. I like to use fresh parsley out the produce section too, but sometimes it just be too much and I don't be wanting it to go to waste. So I just buy the quick one too, like that for color. Oven is at 390, so we almost there. I'm gonna put it on the top rack so that um, it can hit that cheese real good. And while that's in the oven, I'm going to do a little straighten up and show y'all this feeling again one more time. Y'all, this is so good. See, me, because we only got four peppers and I didn't know my daughter's homeboy was coming over to eat tonight. So what I'm going to do is give him my pepper and I got, I'm going to make this my meal right here. See, that's what I do. Mm. 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 That's good. That's good. What I like about it, I never did this concoction with the hamburger helper before. But what I like about it is it has that, um, it already gives you that cheesy flavor of hamburger helper so if you ever had hamburger helper you know what i'm talking about like it really gives you that effect like you eating hamburger helper but then the spices the shrimp the spinach the gouda cheese and all of that just boost it up <laughs> it boosts that hamburger helper flavor up and i know a lot of us grew up on some hamburger helper uh, what I need you to do, Hazel, because you're not going to leave me in this kitchen by myself to clean it. Yeah, I'm tired too, but what you're going to come do is make some dishwater while I put all this stuff up. I'm tired just like you. So when when um, when we both rest, it'll be when we both done in here. So she'll try to burn out never come back and start saying her arms and back hurting like she say her legs hurting <gasps> now how in the world did i do that i'm gonna go ahead and throw these tops of the bell pepper away it's not gonna take long for that cheese to brown i just want to show y'all how it's gonna look when it come out the oven because it just hit 400 and it's only gonna take a little minute. Y'all, my baby do not like cleaning up as it is. So I have to stay on her 
and make sure she, um, I tell them all the time, just because I love to cook don't mean I'm finna slave in here for y'all and do the cooking and the cleaning and the putting the dishes up. I'm just not. I got an 11-year-old and a 17-year-old. I'm not doing all that work by myself. Cooking is already a job. <laughs> and they eat good. <laughs> If you go watch any of our other cooking videos or anything with us, they eat good, whether we eating at home or whether we eat now. So I feel like the least they can do is help me in the kitchen when I cook them. That meal yesterday, look at that meal yesterday. My 17-year-old man, she wasn't even here to get none. So I got to make it again. That fried whole fish I did yesterday, if y'all haven't watched that video, tow it up. Not finna be slaving. Yes, cooking is my passion. Yes, I love to cook. But y'all gonna help. And y'all gonna know how to cook, so you gonna help cook and help clean. And I don't give a damn if they was men, if they was boys. They was still gonna be in here and help me cook. And help me clean. Because if my son was still alive, he passed away in two months. And if he was still alive, guess what? <laughs> He'll be right on in here with us, with his mama, cooking and a cleaning. <laughs> Cause he, I wouldn't have had my son depending on not a, not a now. I sure wish he was here too. Mm, mm, mm. That's my uh seventeen year old daughter's twin brother. So I always just wonder like what would he be doing like because she love to drive love to go get stuff for me from the store and i be thinking um if he was here and they both was driving it because they both would be 17 going to the 12th grade i just be thinking i would be dealing with them arguing over who want up over who gonna drive and arguing over who gonna do this and who gonna do woo. I just, I, mean, I, I would love, I would have loved to see how their relationship would have been when it comes to that. But he passed away at two months of SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome. He was healthy. He was actually more healthy than her. She weighed 2.14 pounds and he weighed five pounds. So he was getting all the food. All of it. Hazel, come on and get this garlic up for me with a paper towel and um, put me a pad on the Swifter. Or go ahead and put the pad on the Swifter and at least do this part for me so I can wash the dishes. I'm going to wash the dishes this time so I can make sure they clean. But I'm still not letting up on you about washing dishes and making sure they clean before you put them up. You're not gonna get out of that chore just because you half ass do it now. That ain't gonna work. You just gonna learn to do it right. So, dishes will continue to be your chore until you learn to get them right. Every now and then, I take it on like I'm doing tonight. Cause I know you've been helping me and working on YouTube with me. So I'm gonna let you get a break. You won the cookie challenge. So I'll go and wash your dishes for you. I lost. I lost the accuracy. I did win the presentation. She got to go get the Swifter, y'all. I done dropped dang near half my, slipped out of my hand. Dropped all that garlic. Just bought it the other day. And I just got through telling y'all I was clumsy. <laughs> there you have it. Live at nine for you. <laughs> Before you start mopping, go ahead and wipe that out the inside of, of the fridge too. And it's on this cabinet too. 
I gotta get some more Lysol wipes. I just used the last Lysol wipes today. I'm gonna get ready to check the peppers, y'all. I just want y'all to see how it come out. We remix stuffed bell peppers with hamburger helper. With shrimp, and we um, switched out the beef or the ground turkey for shrimp. And so far, from what I tasted, it actually is good, but I'm gonna try to get an opinion from um, oh, an, an, um, um, unbiased. Don't want the pepper. He don't have to eat the pepper. He can eat the inside. I'm gonna try to get an unbiased opinion from um, my daughter friend. He just say he don't want the pepper, so he can just eat the inside. Or if he don't want the pepper, matter of fact, I'll keep the pepper for me and just give him the feeling that I was going to eat. We'll make it work. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. I'm about to wash these dishes and put them in this dishwasher and run that dishwasher on them. We done messed up so many dishes today, y'all, doing these videos. I ain't cooked this nothing. Ooh, definitely not in this apartment. We just moved in. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get ready to check it. If you bear with me, I'm going to go and try to wash these dishes up and load them up. And then, the, um, as soon as I finish loading these in the dishwasher, the uh, peppers ought to be done. And then I'm going to go get um, Aaron's. Can you check them and see if they brown it at the top? Mm -hmm. Not ready? Yeah. Okay. That way, I can let y'all go. We can get his opinion. Let me see. Mmm. -hmm. I feel like they need to melt a little bit more. What you think? Mm -hmm. Take them out or let the cheese melt a little bit more or melt till they brown. Clean my oven for the first time, maybe next week. <laughs> Try to do some cleaning because I seen um, I seen this lady on Instagram that um, use use baking soda. I think just baking soda and hot water. And um, it like took off like her glass. It was the glass part she did. They cleaned it really, really good, better than Windex, and got all the grime out. But yeah, my little baby passed away, but I think about him all the time. And then, if that don't take the cake, y'all, how about, okay, so we buried my son. My son's death date was April 28, 2005, 17 years ago. How about my granny, <laughs> the one who named after my business? First of all, my middle name is Louise. Her middle name is Louise. Her first name is Jeanette, Jeanette Louise. I'm Clarissa Louise. Then I named my catering business slash food truck um, after me and her, which is Louise's Country Kitchen because I'm straight up from the country. Um, me and her was always in the kitchen. We did the cooking for the family reunions. Um, we did all that. So, um, I feel like what better way to keep her alive in my life um, than to name the business after her. And plus, I'm already named after her, so it just worked. But what I was saying was, um, we buried my son April 28, 2005. We buried my granny May 28, 2005. <laughs> and I actually, I think it's the other way around. So, my son's death date. We didn't actually bury him on the 28th, but he passed away April 28th, 2005. But we buried my granny April 28th, 2005, which means she passed away a few days before him. 
It's just their burial dates are different. I mean, their burial dates. Yeah, it's different. Buried my son um, after the 28th. Buried her May 28th. Either way, it's a month apart. <laughs> so, and I was very, very young because I had my twins, my first pregnancy. I had been liking girls and a lesbian um, all throughout high school. I had boyfriends and messed with boys and stuff in high school. i make sure my daughter don't know. I don't want her to think she, I don't know what she's doing anyway. But, but um, have I told her? Yeah, I think I already told her anyway. I haven't told, and told my kids everything about me. I'm just transparent like that. But um, I had my twins, my very first pregnancy, straight out of high school, graduated high school in 2004, was registered for college for psychology. And when I started college, found out I was pregnant by the first time me messing with my, my, my baby daddy. And uh, me and him wasn't even in no relationship. Just messing around. Graduated high school. I was I always hung with older people. So even when I was in high school, all my friends wasn't in school. They was already uh, late 20s, early 30s. So I always just been an old soul, mature type of chick. I'm a Capricorn. If you know anything about Capricorns, we got old souls. And so I definitely acted like an old soul at a young age. And um, had to grow up fast because I was, what, 20, 2021 when I got pregnant with twins. And then I used to beat myself up when my son passed away and be like, I shouldn't have been so distraught. And maybe that's why God took him from me. Like, my mom was messed up, Jules. My mom was messed up when I lost my son. So for me to be where I'm at today, alive, because I was suicidal, like when um when I buried, when I found out that my granny passed, I was still mourning my son. Mind you, it was a month apart. I was still mourning my son. And so when we found out my granny had passed, we was in transition going down to the rehabilitation center. And they didn't want to tell us over the phone, but then they wound up having to tell us because we was already an hour away. When they say that lady passed, they say that lady pays. My stepdad had to pull over the car. I remember it like it was yesterday. My stepdaddy had to pull over the car because I wasn't even at home. My mama had to call me like six, seven o'clock in the morning. I had been up, um, strung out on a tab on an X pill with my home girl. I used to pop X pills back in the day. Ooh, child, I got a pass. <laughs> popped them tabs back in the day and I was already I was already mourning and you know what I'm saying smoking weed and popping pills and stuff mourning my son young and my baby was with my mama them so my other baby his sister and so I was just and so when my mama called me and was like the rehabilitation center call come home because we got to head to Houston my hometown about an hour and 30 minutes from here but now i live in houston and um yeah they had me on suicide watch y'all they had me on suicide watch I, I i i i i i was broken i was broken and i was broken for a long time and you know i just kept on saying like maybe because when i found out i was pregnant with the twins I had took, I had drove myself to the doctor because we, we were the caregivers of my granny. So uh, my mama had a doctor's appointment for my granny that day. So they, her and my dad stayed at home with my granny. I drove myself to the doctor, my first doctor's appointment to the ultrasound. And when my doctor told me it was twins, honey, baby, I must've cried. I cried from the doctor's office all the way home and boo-hoo some more when I got home. I was just distraught, traumatized. I ain't know what I was gonna do. Had just registered to college, had just graduated high school, and was pregnant with not one, but two babies. Child, look at him. Distraught. 
I beat myself up for a while by being so distraught. And I'm like, oh, maybe God took my baby because um, the way I was crying and acting when I found out I had twins. Maybe I shouldn't act. It. Like when something traumatizing like that happens to you, your mind go left. And that's the reason why some people don't even survive it. Like, you know how many people actually follow through with suicide? You know how many people actually do um, wind up uh, killing or being abusive to the child that lived? Or uh, it's, it's just some sick stuff. Y'all know what type of stuff go on in the world. My life could have took a turn and did all of that. But yet, God saved me. Prayer and... um being strong-willed and understanding the fact that I could not leave one child behind because one left. And actually right now, today is the first day that I can actually talk about my son and my granny at the same time and have this conversation and not cry. Mm -hmm. So it does not mean that I have forgotten about them because I think about them all the time. I'm still mourning them and it's been 17 years for them both. But um, sometimes when I get a little alcohol in me, or I get depressed and stuff like that because I do suffer from anxiety and depression. And I just got diagnosed with that um, two weeks ago. Um, I um, have insomnia. I don't really sleep well at night. So my psychiatrist prescribed me some sleeping pills because I was having to take like Unisoms and Z-Quills and stuff. And sometimes uh, my body just got immune to those and I still be up. Trying to think of a master plan, trying to think of a business plan, a way I can come up and live the abundant life that I see in my head. <laughs> and um, I just don't be getting no sleep, Googling, researching, <laughs> trying to see what the next business I can start that's going to generate me some money real quick. All kind of stuff, y'all. But it's safe to say I made it through. Um, I do believe I will see my son and my granny again and ever all my other loved ones that have passed before me. And um, I know they watching me and um, sort of my hard work ethic and stuff. And the reason why I go so hard for my cooking business is because, I mean, it's named after my granny. And I know that my granny will want to see me prevail. I know that um, I just want to, you know, I, I want them to be happy for me in spirit. And so um, I have came a very, 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 very long way mentally. Um, yeah, I came a long way. If you go back and watch some of my other videos, I've talked about it before. Um, what else? Uh, that's another reason why I went and got me a therapist, a counselor, and a psychiatrist. Um, because I never went to therapy after it happened, neither. It's 2022 and I'm just now going to therapy for my old traumas because my old traumas sometimes will make me react and carry myself in my new life, pretty much my older, mature life. Um, I want to deal with those old traumas because I know where God got me going in my future and where I'm at right now. And when I become more seasoned in my purpose, I don't want to be dealing with the old traumas. Not to say that I don't want to grieve anymore or I don't want to miss my granny and my son because that's going to always be there. But what I'm saying is I don't want to, I want to be more mature in my growth. I want to be more mature in my grieving. I want to be more mature in my season when I elevate because I am going to elevate. My businesses are going to elevate. My food truck going to elevate when I build it out. Um, my catering business is going to elevate when I um, expand and stuff like that. All the thoughts and the business ventures that I have in my head is going to elevate me. So I want to try to get a hold of all my past traumas right now because I, I already waited too long. And I just feel like now is the time. It ain't never too late because I'm not dead yet. And as long as I'm not dead yet, I can do and conquer and complete and start and finish and do it again as many times as I want to. And you can too. I'm going to take these peppers out so I can let y'all go. Because I will sit up here and tell y'all a whole bunch of stories and talk your ear off all night. We'll say that for some other story times because I got a bunch of stories. Jailhouse stories. 
all kind of stories. Here go the peppers. And let me go get these kids so he can come. Matter of fact, since, I don't know, this ain't enough feeling for him. So let me see if he wants just the feeling. But yeah, it's crispy on top. It's it's hard on top. It just didn't, um, it didn't brown up. And that's okay. Quick and easy. How long it took this meal? I've been talking for almost an hour, but literally I was done with the meal in the, what, 15, 20 minutes? It wasn't that long at all. So let me see. Put him some of this on here. Let him taste it first. Matter of fact, I am gonna put the filling on here just a little bit because he might not even like my cooking. And I'm not even gonna assume that he will. Cause I ain't never cooked for this friend. He might say, uh-uh, listen now. I'm all right. So I'll just put him some on here and let him taste it. <laughs> Literally, let him taste it. Because <laughs> I don't want nobody wasting my food. Not some I can eat. We ain't gonna waste no food. But um, as of the weight loss challenge tomorrow that I'm doing with Lady Bling and the group, that's going to start tomorrow for me because as y'all can see, my challenge was supposed to start today and that was an epic fail with them cookies I just fried on the last live and with um, this hill what I'm going to eat. So I'm actually going to do a workout vlog in the morning, get up early, get him some plastic. I'm going to do a workout vlog in the morning and I'm going to do a workout vlog every day. To keep myself consistent, hold myself accountable, and come on and show y'all and let y'all hold me accountable with me um, sticking to this challenge and working out. Let's go get him this food. Let's see what he get his honest, unbiased opinion. My kids normally tell me the truth too. They not biased. It's either they like it or they don't. Okay, here, Erin, I just bought you a little bit for you to taste in case you don't like it. She said you don't want the pepper, but you don't have to eat the pepper. Um, you could just eat the inside of it, but I got a little bit of filling left if you want more of that without the pepper. I didn't even tell him what it was. Oh, it's, um, it's basically I stuffed the bell peppers with uh, hamburger helper noodles, hamburger helper, but I didn't use ground beef. I used shrimp instead and then put spinach and cheese in it too. That's good, but I mean, I don't gotta eat it. So. No, it's enough. You don't want none? Yeah, I eat it, but I take it, but. Okay, you want some more, or do you. No, I, I'm good with that. I knew he was gonna see it. Appreciate it, though. You don't like it then? No, me, I do. I just don't be. You don't eat that much. He's skinny, many, y'all. <laughs> but if you want some more, it's in there if you want, if you wind up want some more. All right, I got most of the dishes washed. Only got a little bit left. And then I am going to take me a shower and guess what? Fix me a cup of Tito's and Jack Daniels Berry Punch Cooler. Take my sleeping pill and get in the bed. I'm just keeping it real. Let those lights shine bright because we all are jewels in God's eyesight. Bye, jewels.